Hey guys, I am back. Winter has showed up a little bit early to parts of Pennsylvania. I am not a fan of cold, but I love filming outside. So, today we are going to look at something that was a um, spur of the moment purchase. A little, uh, I was looking for something else and found a discovery. We have looked at thousand dollar knives on this channel. Today we're going to look at something that was $9.99. A $9.99 knife that I found at Lowe's while shopping for something. It jumped out at me and I said, you know what? I gotta give that a shot. I just, I don't know what it was about it, but I said, well, number one, Craftsman's a good name in tools, right? And I'm always on the lookout for a good bargain, a good value for a good return on money spent, especially when it comes to knives. I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't have the money to spend on you know something really fancy or something brand name where you're paying more for branding and logos than you are for the materials involved so you know what let's try out a knife that costs less than ten dollars let's see what we get for the money and let's see how it compares so this could be awesome and fun or this could be like a horrible oh my god what did we throw away ten dollars on but let's check it out Welcome to a cold, wet stump. The weather has not been nice here, but uh, the rain has stopped just a little bit. Those of you who ask often why why I don't just, you know, get wet and film in the rain, it's not me. It's the, it's the video camera. It's the electronics. It does not like the rain even more than I don't like the rain. So there's not a lot on the outside that talks about materials, measurements, uh, anything like that. may have to do some online investigations after filming and you know insert some text I may just not be able to find it because sometimes with things like this they just don't list stuff like that but if I do find any cool information of course it'll be in text so this was one of two that they had with a craftsman name on it the other one was a spring assist I picked the ball bearing assist just to see how the quality of the bearings was in here both for $9.99 now what's cool is it's a craftsman tool so it has a lifetime warranty like all other craftsman tools if you read in there oh you know what I'll take the plastic off so it's a little easier to read I'm trying not to cut the, uh, the actual wording and I did oh well so all it really tells us there is stainless steel steel uh, serrated stainless steel blade and ball bearing assist for easy one-handed operation that's all we've got to go on. So it doesn't really, again, what is the stainless steel? What is it made of? Um, unless it says online in like a catalog somewhere, we don't know. So let's take a look here. Um, so the scales are plastic. Um, the backspacer here is metal, I'm assuming steel liners. I'm not sure if you can get a good look in there, but skeletonized, which is nice, uh, nice little touch, save you some weight. Um, the clip, this is a total no soup for you clip. It is one position. Um, it is tip down, right side only. Uh, I imagine they're thinking, you know, you know, a tradesman or something will carry this on their belt, and that is supposedly the optimum position for a belt carry would be tip down. Um, it's not my favorite, but okay. Uh, blade shape. I like the blade shape. It's a very swooping drop point shape. I guess, you know, for utility purposes, um, this is overall a, a good shape for, you know, doing all sorts of use. I like that the serrations, I, I mean, I prefer no serrations, but the serrations take up uh, a minimal part of the blade. Now, again, thinking about what this knife is intended for, sold at a, a um, you know, home improvement store with a craftsman name, they're not thinking about this as a, a fine cutting tool. This is going to be for somebody that's going to use it in, you know, construction in, I'm not going to say hard use, but, you know, somebody that might cut through something like uh, cutting through carpet, cutting through wires. So, you know, the serrations make sense. Fit and finish is actually pretty good. I mean, eh, I'll, I'll downgrade that to just good, but it's good. It's not great but everything lines up nicely uh, it could be a little nicer finished but i mean it's a 9.99 craftsman knife um i'm not sure what this coating is it's probably some some basic black paint on the blade the blade is not very thick at all don't let this fool you right there that's uh 
here's the actual thickness of the blade. Um, you can see the, the lock contact right there. Um, it's already like right there, 50%. Um, ooh, there's some grindiness in there. You hear that? Listen. You hear that grindiness? Let's just go ahead and test the lock right up front. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah. Not smooth. Ooh, so, okay, yeah. 9.99 bearings. We're not going to have the smoothest knife in the world. Well, let's check out the centering. Centering's not bad. I mean, the tiniest, like a millimeter off, that's it. But again, I'm going to remind you, 999 knife from Lowe's. Um, and you know what? I should have checked that centering before I started bashing to test the lock. That might have moved it around a little bit. But still solid lock up right where it was. No problems there. Pretty smooth. You know, mm, that wasn't great. So let's check this out. So push button, pretty good. Light switch, pretty good. Thumb studs, awesome. Bearing seems to be working in a little bit as we use it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta really, I mean, you can't mess around with that. You've gotta get fingertip to flipper contact and really get a good leverage to, to get that flipper to work well. Um, personally, I like thumb studs. So, not the most comfortable knife I've ever held, but not uncomfortable either. I'm not happy with the way that clip digs into the hand, but again, big hands, plenty of real estate to grab onto there. Um, that lock doesn't protrude down or anything. There is really no jimping or grip that I can find that really helps you get I mean all this texturing it really doesn't do anything but then again I imagine their theory is somebody using this knife is wearing work gloves or something which might help add a little bit to it um, but you know some jimping would be great something to help you get a good hold because this plastic here is a little bit slick I guess we should go and uh do our usual initial quick blade out of the box test, right? So standard paper test, not bad. Um, I'm just trying to avoid the serrations. A little rough cut, but it'll 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 slice. You got to get it just right. Um, I was expecting much worse than this. There's a little burr area right kind of there, but for a knife like this, it's doing a lot better than I expected. A lot better than I expected. Look at that, isn't that fancy and flashy? Go with the usual, just pull through to start with. Hold still. Gotta cooperate. 550 cord does want to be cut today. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to be cut either. A lot of effort. A lot of effort. Not the cleanest cut. Um, but let's give it a little slicey da do da and see how that goes. Not bad. Um, still, I mean, there's been much better, but considering what we're working with here, uh, I mean, could be worse. Let's see. Um, all right. You know, not great, but not too bad either. I, it'll get the job done. You know, if you have a task, you need cutting, it'll it'll do. So basic cut test, not bad. Um, you know, especially for the price. Let's do something that's probably not even, you know, intended for though. Let's get to this little mini log here. And in terms of, you know, using it sort of in an emergency kind of survival situation, if you needed to use it off in the woods somewhere let's see let's take off some nice thin material this is very wet wood but if we wanted to get this stuff to start a fire or make some tinder the edge does let us cut some nice fine material out there and
Well, it'll do, you know, a, a rugged job for you. The lock has traveled a little bit, not much. Centering hasn't really changed. I'll tell you, it is uncomfortable though to do that kind of chopping and stuff with. It is very uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to do that over time without gloves on. But we got ourselves some very thin, very fine slices. You know, if we were looking to start fires, make some tinder, stuff like that. Um, no blade play. Nothing really has messed up the knife. Still pretty smooth. Still solid lock up there. Um, I wouldn't want this to be my primary knife in any situation. Uh, but, you know, for something like for emergencies, uh, tackle box, toolbox, maybe not a bad choice. Still have no idea what that blade steel is or how it's going to hold an edge. Um, I want to test it a little bit more though and then go back to the paper just to see. does yeah so it doesn't take much to sort of dull out this blade well actually there you go that's not bad so it, I guess it really depends on where you're catching the blade um, yeah so there's that initial burr which has gotten worse. Um, I, you can still make it cut. I mean, like, if you give it some force, this thing will still cut for you, but just that use, there you go. Now up near the, the curve, up near the tip, where we weren't really cutting, it's still got that nice sharp edge, but down on the belly where we were cutting, it, it's dulled out a little bit. So not the most high quality steel, but what were we expecting? So overall, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. I didn't want to discount it because it was, you know, at Lowe's and not, you know, some fancier store. Um, I didn't want to discount it because it was $9.99 and not a higher price. I think if you're in the market for a knife for emergencies or just a utility blade for, you know, like I said, toolbox, tackle box, um, I don't know if I would want this in a bug out bag or something because you would need to maintain this blade a lot um you know but something where you're going to use it for a little bit you know and then you're not going to need it again for a while so you'll have time to maybe hone the edge again and and but again just you know uh hey i've got that knife let you know but it, for a situation where you're like oh i need a knife right now here it is um and then you're not worried about the long term you know, you know, you can take the time to work on the edge and then throw it back where it was and it just is able to sit for a while until you need it again. Uh, definitely not an EDC blade. Definitely not a hard to use blade. Um, definitely not something that you're going to need to rely on over and over and over. But for the price, uh, less than 10 bucks. Interesting. Um, you know, it, it bearings. Man, I remember when, when bearings were the premium thing, where you had to have a knife that cost at least $100 to have bearings, and now they're on everything. So, Craftsman. Craftsman used to just be screwdrivers and socket sets. Look at that. So what are your guys' thoughts? Is this something you'd spend money on? Um, those of you that are always asking, like, where can I get a, a knife that's, you know, affordable and I could use for some just utility stuff. Well, there's an option right there. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I picked it up and tested it out. I'm wondering if I had um, spent a little bit of time before cutting with it just to refine the edge a little bit more if it would have held uh, a little, a better edge a little bit longer. But, you know, we can wonder. I just wanted to test it right out of the package because that's probably how most people are going to use it. There have been a few comments where people want me to come up with a, a rating system, not just like a, a like it, meh and don't like it but like an actual like one to ten rating system um i'm thinking about doing something like that but man i need to actually put some kind of tangible value to like each one of those ratings i don't know so uh, but
but I do I do really pay attention to all your comments and requests and stuff like that just so you guys know so check out the links in the video description um, the discord server guys I, you know I keep pushing that we have some really fun discussions in there and it's not just about videos and not just about knives it, it's actually a really good time and it's kind of the usual suspects right now the same bunch of people but um, you know the people that are in there right now we really have gotten to know each other pretty well so we have a really good time but you know stop in and check that out it doesn't cost you anything it's just fun um, and the golden atlas awesome dude I made him a, a custom uh, mod well I didn't make it I didn't forge it because I don't have any of that those supplies right now um, it's still in storage but you know, I, I did a custom knife for him um, just to thank him for setting all that up he's done some really hard work so check out the link to the discord server um, check out the link to my Patreon page if you want to like join up to that team and everything. Um, link to my Facebook page if you want to get in touch. It's the best way to get in touch with me <clears throat> and you know ask me questions and stuff. But then I also have my email addresses in there and, and everything too. Um, but if you have like a video request or an idea or, or just something you want to like you know send a message, any of those will work. I've just about finished putting together the bug out bag, um, so we can get that giveaway going. I know you guys have been very patiently and anxiously awaiting the big giveaway. Um, and we're going to get that going very soon. But as always, don't ever forget, you guys are all totally awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.